Henry and I'll accept everyone because today is a good day so we're accepting everyone and now Henry please um, if you would like send the challenge um, now you guys are going to see the Electivire deck yeah it's Electivire with a new Magnet Zone from Forbidden Light. So it does the same as the Metal one, it even has the same art, but you get to attach Lightning Energy instead. So we'll see if what I build can have um, any sort of chance against Henry. So yeah, this is a much more aggressive deck. I'm not dealing 40 damage per turn like with Jinx, so hopefully it'll be... Um, it'll work out better for sure. Um, okay, I'm glad I'm I didn't get um, a basic with that hand. So this is like an attempt. Wait, what? Another? Okay. Ooh, and we see another Lurantis deck as well. And Ryan was taken. Thank you so much for the host. So many hosts today as well. So many hosts, so many subs. Um, like now we're 13 away from another emote. That's crazy. That's just crazy talk. Okay, so we're going to start Magnemite which hopefully has free retreat. Uh, the competition is on. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of American players in Cancun. Well, not a lot, but there's going to be a significant amount. Um, and in the Mexico City special event next weekend, there's also going to be um, quite a few Americans. I would expect Americans at every Mexican event. Ooh, rough start for my opponent. Rough start for my opponent. Okay. So I'm going to bench a Magnemite, so now this Magnemite has free retreat. And then I am using Tapulele in this, in this deck. I hope you guys will forgive me. I am using Tapulele, so I think I'm going to Lily here. I believe I am going to choose to Lily. Am I going to play a fun deck in Cancun? No, definitely not. Um, all the special events... Um, I do need the points, Jeremy. So I do need the points because I could actually win this turn. <laughs> um, I do need the points. Oh no, I can't win. I can't evolve. What am I saying? <laughs> um, I do need the points because um, I am fighting for uh, the day two invite. The day two invite for Worlds. So I need to remain in the, in the top eight of Line America. Um, where the race is actually um, pretty pretty close still. And um, I need to stay in the top four so that I get the travel award for the European International Championship, which will happen next year for next season. So it's actually super, super important for me to um, to stay to stay at the top of my game, to get more points. Um, to still do well at tournaments so i need day two i also need i think i'm just gonna load up the lele i need the point yeah it's a lot of pressure actually <laughs> there you have no idea how much pressure there was on me for um for the latin america international championship because i barely i barely remained in in top four i used to be first place in latin america now i'm fourth because I haven't had a great 2018, honestly. That's been the that's been the biggest issue. 2018 has not been kind to me. Okay, so finally we're gonna see Electivire, which has the attack Giga Impact. And <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's joking. Uh, Ray, I'm pretty sure he's joking. Um, so yeah, that's why I'm playing a serious deck this weekend in Toronto as well. Like I want points, I want um, all the championship points that I can get to make sure that I still stay in top four. Okay, so there we have the Lurantis. Ooh, with another energy and a, and a choice band. Uh, Lurantis GX would actually knock out my top lately. That would be pretty sad. I will make a better deck choice. <laughs> That's definitely been an issue. With the last few tournaments, I have made um, very bad deck choices, I think. Especially Utah. Like, my choice for Latin America was okay. It was a good meta call, and the ties I got could have worked. Like, I was turns away from winning most of the time. Um, however, 
Um, the choice for last weekend, that was a terrible one. That one, 100% my fault. That was a terrible choice. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and Sycamore. We're looking for more lightning energy. And that's just one lightning energy. And then we'll just energy drive for a lot of damage. As you can see, I'm using Voltner as well. I like Voltner because it gets you a... Uh, it's like a better Skyla for this deck. Volkner is a better Skyla. It searches for an item card and a lightning energy. Ooh, the double Bleasy play. So Lurantis gets pretty much fully healed, right? It heals 80, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Does he flip? Yeah, double Bleasy just completely heals the Lurantis. Uh-oh. You feel like you're going to battle the Pokemon champion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so after I'm playing Henry right now. Ooh, Devolution Spray as well. After Henry, I'm playing Amphi. Yeah, and then the Devolution Spray as well. The thing is, he needs to Chlorocyte. I guess it's okay to use your GX attack here. That seems okay. That seems pretty okay. Or if he finds a choice band, then he can just use Solar Blade and save the GX attack. I don't think I can win this one, honestly. Because I'm 10 short. Giga Impact with a choice band deals 200 damage. So I'm 10 short. And that's a big deal. That is honestly a very big deal. Um, okay, so I could Volkner here for the other energy retrieval. And that way I could attack with Electivire. Um, I wouldn't lose the Electivire, which is good, because um, I'm not a GX, so, and now he used Chlorocyte, so he would only be able to Solar Blade. So I guess it's okay to 2 hit KO. So I'm gonna Nest Ball for another Electabuzz, the other Energy Retrieval is in there. And we only have 3 energies in the deck left, so I'm gonna Volkner, I'm gonna grab the Retrieval, and I'm gonna grab the Shiny Energy. And here we go. So get back the two shiny energies. Very important to attach this shiny energy first. <laughs> okay, so this goes here. This goes here. And then we clicked on. We are not finishing our turn. We're just finishing the ability because I, I, I've definitely made that mistake before. And so we will Giga Impact. We cannot attack next turn though. That's a big issue here. Electivire cannot attack next turn. And we definitely don't have another Electivire powered up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven energy. I'm playing 12, I believe. So there might be a ton priced, honestly. There might be a ton priced. Um, he does decide to heal. Yeah, finding enough energy to attack again seems like it's going to be very difficult. Uh-oh. Like, it might come down to the Thunder Punch flip. <laughs> it might actually come down to the Thunder Punch flip. I wish it was just you can't use this attack next turn. Yeah. I don't have enough energy recovering this. Oh, we see the Kuzma. That's great. That is actually great. I mean, it's not great because Ranguru is now stuck there. But it's great because uh, Giga Impact was reset. So I'm going to go ahead and evolve. Do I attack with Oranguru? Probably not. I think I'm going to go ahead and do this. And then we will Cynthia. Pretty please. No Float Stone. Okay. No floatstone. We do find two more energy, which is nice. And I think we're just gonna pass here. Or do I commit the energy to the Electivire? Yeah, I think so. They're safe there, right? It's gonna be difficult to draw them again. So, eh, 
Let's field lord, why not? We have all non-GXs, so that's also good for us. Like in play at least, that's what I meant. So instruct and then pass. So we're gonna try and chase this Lurantis down next turn. Off of the Guzma. So was a synthesis, right? Um, I feel like I'm gonna attack this guy with this. No, I really do. I leave it to a flip. If I flip heads, oh no, I can't even do that. If I flip tails, though, he, like I get a knockout with Thunder Punch because of the choice band. However, if I flip tails, um, Lurantis comes up and knocks me out. I think that's still my play here, though. So, cross your fingers, guys. Thunder Punch. You guys didn't cross your fingers. I know you guys didn't do it. <laughs> okay, we get two energy off the prize cards. That's good. But yeah, the issue is now he hits me for... Uh, the silly damage here. Ugh. 120. Which is perfect. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna lose the floatstone And that. Darn. We are in a lot of trouble. Solar blade. Okay. I mean we need another head slip. Or a head slip now. <laughs> Okay, okay, I'll believe you guys. I'll believe you. Um, yeah, that's true. I needed I, I needed to add Big Teeny in this. One, two, three, four, five. Eleven energy. So I won't be able to power up anything else, pretty much. So I needed something like Ace Hero. Well, I could power up lately, actually. That seems... Uh, yeah, no, I don't have any energy left or any way to recover energy. So I need to flip heads here. There's That's the only way I can win here. Otherwise, I'm just... Like, if I hit for 170, then I have no way to attack with anything else. No! Yeah, so that's the game. Uh... Yeah. Oh well. GG Henry. The thing is, my other energy is prized. Um, I believe he did heal. No, he didn't heal. He heals himself. Um, so we would need another choice band. We would need an Electivire. But we just, we don't have enough energy to pull this one off. We do not have enough energy. My other energy is prized. I have no way to recover. Um, so yeah, I'll just go ahead and Sycamore here. We can't even like try to stall, right? We can't even try to stall here. So GG Henry, GG. I'm going to go ahead and concede because it's two extra turns. And so Amphi, if you are still, um, in the chats, which I see you are, um, please send me a friend request and let me know what your username is so that we can start with the game that would be great gg henry um i was missing okay i'm definitely missing ways to recover energy in this so maybe i should just add them now um i'll take away one sycamore okay is that okay there you go okay so we'll play the deck as it is um yes i'll discard them that's fine and <laughs> Dust main list, please. Uh, Professor Gilvan, if you go to the channel on YouTube, 
youtube.com slash table one you'll be able to see the video and in the video description i believe there's the um, the list should be there i'm pretty sure i took the time to go ahead and um and add the list in the description of the video for every video this week and yes i just checked it is there next week you will have jurassic park built yeah that works i know a lot of people are um i know a lot of people are um like they were hyped on jurassic park it didn't work out but feel free to do so okay so seeing this pikachu and seeing the dark type makes me shiver that this is the the hydreigon infinite loop deck that would be pretty sad that would actually be pretty sad honestly um we're gonna see a bridget if we see dino this is bound to be a super long game if we see more dinos and pikachus uh, no, okay, so it's a Zork Raichu deck. Interesting. Zork Raichu. Any Zork deck is always going to be difficult for us. Um, however, let's go ahead and do this. Let's grab an Electab. Uh, no, I'll grab another Magnemite. That's more important. Losing an energy, not ideal, of course. Um, Zorks are out of range of Electivire. So now I wish I had a Tapu Koko um, to spread once and then Electivire would be able to put in some work. We're gonna do this. I'm gonna attach the energy here and I shall pass. I shall pass. You're welcome, Professor. <laughs> okay, so we see an Evo Soda. We see an evil soda. We see a Cynthia. <laughs> you want the Zork tattoo, Rhea? Interesting. Okay, ooh, it's Circle Circuit, nice. Circle Circuit Raichu, it's definitely been a while since I've seen that card being used. Um, it's definitely not as great in standard because there's no Skyfield, um, but it's like a Zorak GX, right? It's essentially like a Zorak GX. Okay. Still no Still no Magnezone, but we can't get it next turn. We can't get Magnezone out next turn thanks to Faulkner. We're gonna also have another um, another energy, but still not enough to power up Electivar, which we also don't have. Ooh, just a trade there. Okay, so we're gonna Volkner for the rare candy and for the shiny energy. And then we're gonna go ahead and Ultra Ball away the N no, not the end. The Sycamore and the other Ultra Ball. Uh, Professor, thanks so much for the follow. And yes, Quick Jam, I am going to Toronto. It's just my flight is at 5.30 p.m. So that's why I'm here streaming, just passing the time whilst, um, whilst the stream... Um, I mean, whilst I get the... Whilst what? <laughs> passing the time whilst my flight... Uh, will take place. Um, Hiruma, yeah, I mean, technically Zorg is definitely a meta deck, but like any Zorg deck, but this partner is not meta. Um, we're gonna struggle for sure, because Zorg um, has 210 HP and Electivire with 210, I mean, with a choice band can only hit 200 damage. So that's a big issue for sure. Um, but I mean, it's all for fun, so it's okay for people to try out different Pokemon with um, with Zork. Oh no, we're gonna lose the energy. That's a pretty big deal. <laughs> okay, that's good advice. Yeah, in the past, and I've 
wanted tattoos, then I never ended. Um, thank you so much, Quick Gem. In the end, I never ended up getting them. Um, but in the past, I have wanted tattoos myself. Um, but I chose not to. I chose not to get them. Okay, now I wish I had searched for Oranguru at one point. Um, hello, Dave Zeppelin. And okay, so we will be able... <laughs> we will be able to attack this turn. However, I feel like I'm going to sap cannon. Magnetic circuit. Or do I attack with Electivire? It's just... Both are bad, right? Both are two shots, no matter what. Both are two shots. But um, at least this guy has a floatstone. At least this guy has a floatstone. So goodbye, Raichu. My opponent has used up a puzzle, which is good. And he was struggling to find a DT. Okay. Oh, we see a parallel, which is fine. Honestly, it's not a big deal. We're gonna see another Zork. Okay, so this is Amphi. Next up is Jedi. So next up is the Mac Mortar deck. I'm not sure if I'm gonna have enough time though. I mean, I eh, I probably will. Yeah. I usually I usually have like. A difficult time um, dealing with airports and like arriving on time and stuff. Not because I'm impunctual, but more because um, it's like I know you have to be there early. It's just I feel like if you arrive the three hours early, they tell you for an international flight, you arrive an hour and a half early and then you're waiting. I mean, three hours early and then you're waiting two hours and 50 minutes for your flight. <laughs> Por nada, Henry, gracias a ti por el juego. Um, so that's how I kind of feel. Like, you get there three hours early, and then um, you're there waiting two hours and 50 minutes, right? Um, whereas, ooh, Raichu is actually worse than Zork. Okay, we're probably gonna have to give up on the Magnemite. And I'll pass. Um, but then if you get there like an hour and a half early then there's more people wanting to like going through security and you end up barely making the flight or something like that like it's like risk versus reward right but in the end <laughs> i don't know it's weird that's my dilemma i guess because if you get there three hours early for a five hour flight it's like you're now in transit for eight hours so what could you have done like did you have something better to do in those three hours or like in that one extra hour and a half maybe that you can use to wait um, before the before the flight? Okay, so we're gonna lose a Magnezone, which is not terrible because we can't get the energy back. Um, we're just hoping to top deck something good here. But at least I can Thunder Punch, maybe. And okay, so a Guzma doesn't really help. I mean... Nah, we'll just Thunder Punch here. I don't think I have much of a chance to win this match. Um, it's just the things are too out of range. If I had another... <sighs> okay. I can't Kuzma, I guess. My opponent has three cards. He has used up two Kuzmas. Two Kuzmas and three DCEs. I feel like this could be safe. Um, so yeah, um, it's like, can you do something better in that hour and a half that you wouldn't be doing otherwise? Um, for me, yes. The answer is definitely yes. I could, it's an hour and a half extra of streaming, right? So I think all of that comes into play. Okay. So we see a puzzle. I'm hoping it's double puzzle. For two Guzmas. Yeah. Guzma DC. That's understandable. So he's going to target down the energy, which makes sense. Our big issue was we just started dead drawing completely. 
I should have gone for, I thought about going for uh, Oranguru. I just figured, no, I'll have time to do that afterwards. However, that obviously was not the case. And so I'll just Giga Impact to get another prize card here. Onto this Raichu. We got a Field Blower, but that's four, five, six, seven energy. So we have five energy left. And Henry, yes. Uh, everything that is uh, shown on Twitch will go up to YouTube. However, um, there's already like the match will be up in the future, probably in June, because Pokedex videos go up on weekends. Um, if you really want to watch your side, you can just on Twitch, you can click um, up there uh, in the videos part. If you're watching on a computer, you can click over there and you'll be able to rewatch the video if you want otherwise for youtube um to watch on youtube it'll be up probably in a weekend over june because i have a huge backlog of uh pokedex series videos actually well not a huge i have three pokedex videos still to be published um but i feel like right now it's really good to keep publishing um forbidden light decks because all the hype is there with Forbidden Light. Like I had never been so successful on, on YouTube before, before the set. So that's been really good to see. Um, um, so yeah, um, the match on YouTube will be uploaded sometime in June, most likely. Uh, but if you wanna watch your side over there on the video section, <laughs> I wouldn't end me. Um, over there in the video section, you can um, check out the, the video, yeah? You can check out the video and you can just scroll to the part where we played against each other and you'll be able to watch it. Okay, so my opponent very kindly used N and I believe I have a chance if I have a Kuzma here. I do, so I'm gonna Kuzma and I'm gonna attach all the energy to the Lele. You're welcome. Okay, I'm gonna attach all the energy to the Lele because that's a knockout on the Raichu and that's what has energy. So we're hoping that my opponent's last um, last energy is prized pretty much, which is probably not the case, but you never know. You never know. Okay, so energy drive means one, two, three. One, two, three plus seven, that's 10. I have two more energy left, so I can never one-shot a Zoark, in theory. Uh, we see a Sycamore. Ooh, Countercatcher, right? Yeah, Countercatcher, spicy. Okay. We see another Zorua. We see a Field Blower, that's fine. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, Bromorin, they usually don't reprint cards, as far as I know, based on, like, what's currently available in Standard. They mostly, since everything is designed and produced in Japan, it mostly pertains to what's good over there. Um, okay, so, my opponent has his last DC, then that's obviously game, but I'm gonna commit to taking down this Raichu, and then, maybe... I can two shot a Zorark before he finds his TC. I mean, if he has a TC, he can find it right now. Um, Purple Cliff. I have seen. Uh, I haven't seen Kumitex yet. <laughs> I haven't seen Kumitex yet. Uh, GG, Amphi. I haven't seen Kumitex, but I saw your stream the other day and I saw you were playing. Um, it would be cool because I have I have a student uh, who my coach that l absolutely loves Kumi. Like, she, she goes crazy over Gumi, so I'm sure if I used that Gumi deck, she would uh, she would be so excited about it. <laughs> okay, so GG Amphi. Um, Electivire, clearly not very good. <laughs> um, so now it's your turn, Jedi. So if you are on here, please, um, please uh, add me on PTCGO, and if you have already added me, send me the challenge, Jedi. It's hilarious. Yeah, it's like the Snorlax luck uh, because it adds the attack, right? It adds one attack cost. 
<laughs> GG.